so uh, we were discussing about the computed fields on the last video uh, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, default how we can uh, give a default value for a field in many cases we need to give a default value for uh, fields like uh, uh, sometimes uh, for dates you know uh, we have to fill the fill up the current date for uh, date fields and the user id we may have to uh, give the currently login to user id and uh, uh, serial number like that so uh, there are different cases uh, we have to use default uh, values we have to separate uh, system has to separate default value uh, for uh, some fields so how we can uh, write code for that so and how we can give a default value for the fields that's what we are going to discuss any field in Odoo can be uh, given default value. In the field definition, we have to just give default is equal to x or something like that, and uh, where x can be any values like that is compatible with our field definition. Okay, <clears throat> if the uh, field is a boolean, we can give true or false. If it's an integer, we can give an integer value. If it's a string, character uh, field or text field, we can give strings. And or we can give a function name that can return a record set or, or a uh, value. Okay. Not record set, uh, value. So let's get into the code. Here uh, we have a start date and uh, what we are going to do is we are making that uh, field with a default value supplying field like uh, we want the starting date set as today. Okay, so what we are doing is we are replacing the first start date field with the feed it's uh, it's making the same effort we just putting the default is equal to field dot day dot today so the start date have a new attribute default is equal to fields dot day dot today and uh, one more thing is active uh, we are just supplying a new field active it's a boolean field and uh, the value is given by default is true let's check how it is is going to act in our application uh, before that we are going into our xml definition of our session form and add in the active field there in our form view so it is given under the instructor id let's go back to our apps something wrong happened Active does not exist. Let's oh, we haven't restarted the our project. That's what happened. Whenever we make a change in our py files, we must have to restart our project. So you can see the active is true 
if I'm going to create a new session, you see the active is true and the start is default by default taken as 11.25 to note 1.9, it's the current date. And uh, you have seen now how we can add default value to a field. And so there are some objects that's very helpful when we do uh, this default functionality and other uh, methods like uh, uh, it's called self.n self.n is a request parameter the an object that have many datas that we recur in many cases I'll show you. The starting of our video, I just mentioned that uh, we may need to fill up user ID, that kind of things in our modules. You see this uh, self.n we use it very frequently in our Odo. So this thing gives access to our request parameters and other useful things like uh, uh, our cursor database cursor object uh, at the time of when we write for use for reports uh, it can give you access to the cursor object and sometimes you can give the access to user id and you can see the company is taken and now uh, it's taken the company from the self.n and there are many examples sorry it's taken the self.user self.n.user it will uh, that object will give you the current user This method, uh, yeah, you can see self.env.ref and in the bracket, uh, it's given the XML ID of a record. So what it will do is it will return the record corresponding to an XML ID. Uh, what XML ID we are given here, it will uh, return the ID of record of uh, that corresponding uh, XML ID. And uh, self.in Dot reference that we already discussed. There are many use cases. Uh, some of them are self dot dot cr, self dot dot iuid. Uh, it is the current users database ID, and self dot dot user. The current uh, is the current record is uh, current users record, and self dot dot context. Or uh, you can see uh, you can use self dot underscore context. Uh, it will uh, return the context directory and self dot n dot reference and self dot n dot model name returns the instance of a given name. And you can uh, while we create a new record or something uh, from the through code, you can use that. That's you can see here self dot n dot rest dot users and etc. So uh, this is how uh, we can give uh, a default value to our fields and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any doubts, please uh, put that in our comment section under the video. We will uh, try our best to uh, reply for that. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, uh, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, you will get notified about the uh, uh, new videos. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.